Hi everyone, happy new year. Starting off the new year, our first full case break of the year is this one. 2017 Panini Donruss Optic Football 12 box pick your team number eight from jazbeeshobbyland.com and a chance to win. If you buy at least two teams, you have a chance to win a transcendent baseball spot. Now people are wondering, oh hey, what about the VIP? You got a RSVP soon. Don't worry about that. Get into the transcendent baseball break. We've got a little, uh, little extra cushion on that timing. So don't worry about that. Jaspyshobbyland.com has all that. And we have got another case of this right now on Jaspyshobbyland.com as well. So here on the second of the brand new year, here are the people involved in this. Thank you, boys and girls, for getting into this. Ed with that last spot mojo, Giants. He's got a couple teams in this too. All right, there is the case sitting here. Optic was the case that they gave me. To paraphrase... Snoop Dio Double G. All right, good luck, everybody. So we've got six boxes on the left side, six boxes on the right side, and a nice break coming up. All right, so thanks for getting into it, everybody. Here we go. All 12 boxes, so get comfortable. Get settled in. It's going uh, to be a long break. But it's going to be a fun break. There's um, a one autograph per box, if you remember, on average. And there's uh, always a lot of fun parallels to chase, too. Some low-numbered parallels as well. Sometimes there may be points in products like this. As we've been doing for the last handful of months, all points uh, will be randomized to one person. So it's a winner take all on the points. I think everything else should be pretty self explanatory. Uh, no vet base, no veteran base ships. And just in general, folks, uh, I know we, uh, a lot of the team, a lot of the Jaspi team is out of town on vacation. So we've been, we've been working with a pretty small crew, sorting out a lot of long breaks. So, and with the holiday kind of getting in the way too. Uh, postal service not delivering yesterday on Monday, the 1st. So just uh, be a little extra patient with us at the beginning of the year, folks. Give us a couple extra days or so for uh, long, especially for longer breaks like this to ship out, to get sorted and shipped out and into your hot little hands. So I appreciate that, everybody. I think in the next week or two, we should be uh, pretty back on track with our, our usual um, speedy shipping. So thank you, everybody. And I'll do a quick uh, autograph and low number card recap at the end of this break. So if you're looking for a recap, if you don't feel like watching an hour of this. All right. Here we go, folks. So these, you can tell that these aren't, this is a refractor. And these rated rookies will ship, but there's no... Uh, color there, so that won't go. That's just a refractor as well. So vet base like this Marshawn Lynch won't go, but that's this Andy Dalton will ship because it's blue. That'll go to the Bengals. That goes to Chandler. Chandler with our first parallel out of this case. 12 out of 149 on that. We'll, so we'll top load. Just in the interest of time, I'm just going to sleeve those up. But we'll top load all of those and ship them out before they're shipped out. 95 out of 149, Tom Terrific, Tom Brady for the Patriots and Karen. Obviously, rookie cards like this will ship. So we'll go through this a little bit more quickly now, now that we got a good idea. Gridiron Kings, Red, Mike Evans, 43 out of 99 for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Lee with the Bucks. Zach Cunningham for the Texans out of 99 for Calvin with the Texans. The old school design I really like as well. And our first autograph is Isaiah Ford. Isaiah Ford for the Dolphins. That'll be for Ed and the Dolphins. Thanks, Ed. is not numbered. 
That is numbered, so you can tell by that. Juju Smith-Schuster at a 299 rated rookie. And Orion Switzer. Bonus autograph, rated rookie auto. There are hot boxes. This might be a hot box. There are usually like two different kinds of hot boxes. There's like a three auto plus points hot box. And there's four auto hot boxes too. There are case hits as well. If there is three hot boxes that usually replaces a case hit, I don't know, we'll we'll roll we'll roll with it. Jordan Leggett blue, that's out of 149. Oh, and there's points. There you go. So points will be randomized to uh, one person. Winner take all on the points. All right, Arthur. Happy New Year to you, too. Welcome. Just getting started. It's just our first box in this break. And after this, we don't have anything filled up at the moment. So if you want to, uh, so if you want to keep going on some breaks tonight, you know what to do. You can go to jaspishobbyland.com get that all going. All right, box number two. Well, folks, it's an exciting time of year because the playoffs are all set. So the, so the Patriots and Steelers already have their, uh, their bye, as do the Eagles and the Vikings on the NFC side of things. So in the AFC... The Bills, uh, somewhat back into the playoffs, right there. Sad times for the Ravens. But the Bills back into the playoffs. The Chargers don't quite make it as well, even though they they, uh, they destroyed my, my dysfunctional Raiders. Which I think uh, I think they're going to be back on track with, with John Gruden, though. That's the big rumor for my Raiders. I always said that. I don't have a problem with Jack Del Rio. I always said, though, if, uh, if they are going to fire Jack Del Rio... They better get a, a coach with some degree of experience or clout. You know, I'm not firing a coach like Jack Del Rio just to pick up some some fresh-faced, uh, you know, offensive coordinator or something like that. Um, but John Gruden, I'll be, I'm okay with that. So we'll see what happens with the Raiders. We'll talk more about that later. But um, the, uh, the so the Bills are in, Titans are in, Jaguars are in, Jaguars are in, Chiefs are in. On the NFC side, Falcons, Panthers, Rams, Saints, they're all in. So we've got a, 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 an exciting slate of games coming up. In fact, let's get some, uh, we'll, we'll talk more about the about what Vegas thinks about that. But does anyone have else have any sort of end of season thoughts? Uh, Max saying uh, he was at the Rams game on Sunday and that the Niners looked great. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think I think people are realizing. Wait a second, they are just a kind of a quarterback away from turning things around. And if Jimmy Garoppolo can do this over a course of a season, the the Niners might be, you know, playoff ready in like a season or two or three, as opposed to three, four, or five seasons. You know what I mean? They look a little bit closer than people people may think. All right, next box. So let me know what you think, folks. There's Carson Palmer. That's for the Cardinals. James, 253 out of 299. Rory disagrees. Rory says, hey, the Niners have too tough of a division and schedule. Well, I'm not sure about what their schedule is going to be next year, but, you know, I mean, Seahawks may not be on the ascendancy anymore. There's C.J. Beathard, speaking of the Niners. That goes to Lee. And Cardinals may be on the downside. So, Niners maybe maybe may have a slightly easier path than have before. There's my boy Amari Cooper. Down season for the for all of the Raiders, but I think things will change if Gruden really happens. That goes to, and I think it is. That goes to the Raiders. That goes to who's got my Raiders? Sam Golden with my Raiders. There's Clay Matthews, purple, parallel. That's 47 out of 50 for the Packers. That'll be for Daniel.
Got some green coming up. Dak Prescott. Two out of five. Nice. Yes, rated rookies do ship. That's, a, that's considered an insert, so they do ship. Only veteran base does not ship. Cowboys, James Scheisler, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There you go. There's Brad Kaya, Lions. That'll be for Daniel F. out of 199. Kenny G. 10 out of, uh, sorry, 1 out of 99. Another one for, another insert for the Lions. That'll be for Daniel. Oh, did, did, is that official? Carson Palmer retired? I guess I wasn't paying attention to the, to the news. Mara Darbo out of 299. Packers, yeah, what kind of change did the Packers make, Rory? Because he's Rory, a Packer fan, saying making some changes that'll be great for the team. Who's the next Cardinal QB? asks Roy. So Palmer is official. Um, I that's kind of crazy. End of an era. Um, I wonder if uh, if the if the Cardinals want to go try to snag a veteran quarterback as opposed to um, going with a young quarterback. You know what I mean? I mean, if Larry Fitzgerald is going to play another season or two, right? You know, maybe you could get a quarterback like Kirk Cousins, maybe. Have him in that offense along with David Johnson. And then maybe, uh, you know, because quarterback is hard to find. Quarterback very hard to find. So maybe you get Kirk Cousins. Right, I agree, Joe Howard. Maybe you get a Kirk Cousins if you're the Cardinals. And then you have a, 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 you know, pick up a young quarterback in the third or fourth round and just have him develop behind Kirk Cousins. Kind of find a better backup plan, you know what I mean? Kaepernick could be an interesting option for the Cardinals depending on what their new coach wants, how their new coach wants to do things. Eli Manning could still be out. He could be out there. Because, I don't know, maybe you don't want to waste the best years of David Johnson's career with a young quarterback coming up the ranks. I think the Cardinals probably think they're closer than than people may think. Uh, Roar is saying, oh, so Don, defensive coordinator Don Capers was fired and moved Ted Thompson from GM to a different executive position. So I think health would just be the big thing there too. As long as Aaron Rodgers can stay healthy, then they, the Packers will be right back in it. Lucky for them, they kind of the silver lining for the Packers, of course, is that they get a slightly better, uh, slightly better draft pick. All right, next box. T. Y. Hilton, red for the Colts out of ninety nine. That'll be for Karen. And Patrick Mahomes, forty three out of seventy five. He looked pretty decent. This guy might be the future. Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs. Rated rookie autograph. That goes to Royal Four Speed Ryan with that one. 43 out of 75. So is Alex Smith done? Are they going to go with him next year? We'll see. I, I'm thinking no, but we'll see what happens in the playoffs with Alex Smith. That might determine it. That fans of the game goes to the Buccaneers. Illusions, Evan Ingram, 91 out of 149 for the New York Football Giants. That'll go to Ed with that last spot mojo. That Great Iron King's not numbered. Sidney Jones is numbered. Nice. Three out of 25. Nice low number. Black Refractor, Sidney Jones. For the Fly, Eagles Fly, that one is for Ryan. R. Joshua Dobbs out of 199 for the Steelers. That'll be for Daniel Patera. There's Travis Kelsey. Sorry, trying 
dropping Russell Wilson there. And we've got blue Antonio Brown. 82 out of 149. That'll be for the Steelers. And that'll go out to Daniel Patera. Once again, we'll top load all of these before they ship out to you. All right, nice box there. Still have not seen the hot box yet. We'll talk more about the uh, about the playoff games coming up with the Vegas spread, but we'll, we'll give it a few days for the Vegas spreads to sort of settle down. But uh, let's talk about some early impressions on what you think will happen this weekend in the playoffs. Let's start with Tennessee at Kansas City. What does everyone think? Tennessee at Kansas City. Oh yeah, I guess the first box was considered a hot box. We may we should expect one more hot box, Chandler, and then a case hit. You're right, yeah, that, that's the one that had the points. There you go, Ryan. Yeah, there's the Mahomes. Tennessee at Kansas City. Uh, Boston saying Boston Graf. Sean saying Kansas City. Rory saying Kansas City. EA Sports is in the game. Titans fan, of course, saying Titans. Tice also saying Hope It's Titans. DeGroosh also saying Titan Up. That's going to be tough going into Kansas City. But that could be, you know, Tennessee's been up and down a little bit, but they it could be a, a, a big a big national showcase for, uh, for Marcus Mariota and that team. You know, and I guess everyone's going to wonder... Which Kansas City team is going to show up? The one that, the one in the middle of the season that team that couldn't win a game, or is it going to be? It's going to be the Titans. Uh, Patrick Goodwin saying uh, saying Chiefs. Hub City wanting Kansas City. TJ also agreeing to Kansas City. Thomas Davis is saying, just got off a flight from Toronto to Bermuda. It's 10 o'clock at night, but you're live streaming. That's right. That's how time works. It's only 6.20 in the evening here. All right. Next box. We got Jarvis Landry out of 199 for the Dolphins. That's for Ed. Big Ben for the Steelers for Daniel out of 149. And our first autograph out of here is D.D. Westbrook, rated rookie autograph. That goes to the Jaguars. That's for Daniel F. Two out of 99. Richard Sherman, who was talking about you? Crabtree out of 299. Chris Godwin, 85 out of 149. And James Conner, 30 out of 99. Oh, I see. Thomas Davis just wanted to show off that he was in Bermuda. Gotcha. Where do I get these boxes? We have a big garden in the back. We grow optic every year. And they finally came into... Uh, they're ready to harvest, so we harvested them not too long ago. They grow on like trees. You don't want one of these cases falling on your head, though, as you're harvesting the fruit of the optic tree. Amara Darbo, 50 out of 50. Oh, you live there. Oh, okay. Made it sound like you were vacationing there from Toronto. Well, that's good. So now we all... We... There's Thomas Davidson's travel plans. 61 out of 99, Mike Williams for the Chargers. Right, the optic tree. 
the seeds the seeds of the optic is they are a little expensive you know but you do get you do get a lot of fruit out of uh, out of each seed right there you know what I mean and it takes time to harvest all of that it takes a while to grow it's a uh, it's basically, how did I cut myself here? It's farm to table. Far, farm to your break table. Flawless also grows on a tree, Chandler. Yes, those seeds are even more expensive. Very hard to find those seeds. And it, does get, it does get pricey. That takes a lot of love and care throughout the year to grow those properly. There's been some years where we've not done a good job growing those. Maybe we didn't use the right fertilizer. We did, uh, you know, we didn't use, we didn't water it properly. Maybe we started planting at the wrong time of year. Sometimes don't uh, they don't work out. Yeah, that's enough of that. Um, so, but some years we get it just right. We get it just right, and all those cases are, are amazing. The seeds, the seeds, of course, um, the seeds, of course, come uh, come from panini and tops and upper deck, and we spend the year just growing them, you know. If your kids ask where 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 do uh, where does optic football come from, you know you, you can tell them well, well listen they grow on they grow on trees literally. All right, good luck everybody. We got Demarcus Walker for the Broncos. That'll go to Chris Dubberly. There you go, Dubberly. 46 out of 50. We got gold Emmanuel Sanders. Nice. 3 out of 10 Emmanuel Sanders. Oppo Joe Mojo going to Dubberly and the Broncos. Looks like another autograph hot box coming at you. Jordan Willis for the Bengals. Chandler Jones on the board with the Bengal. Sixty nine out of ninety nine. Julio, Julio Jones out of one ninety nine. That goes to the uh, Falcons. That'll go to Sam Golden with the Falcons. The famous. I love these AKA cards. One forty seven out of one forty nine for the Buccaneers. That'll be for Lee Cheeseman. Just throwing these cards around here. Packers McKinley at a 299. That's also for the Dirty Birds and Sam. And we have Robert Davis for the Redskins. That'll be for Sam Golden and the Skins. 76 out of 99. Nice. Great Iron Kings, Juju Smith Schuster, 129 out of 149. We've got Matt Forte. At a two ninety nine for the Jets, Jets, Jets. That'll be for Karen. And we've got Josh Reynolds. Nice autograph. Another one for the Rams. Derek Slavic. Or maybe that was our first one. Anyway, an autograph for the Rams. 17 out of 35. And Dalvin Cook, rated rookie, just a rated rookie card for Chris D. Masoner out of 199. 
Red Iron King's not numbered. That's not numbered, nor is that. And there's your box. Boston Graphs, yes, there will be Optic and Contenders next year. We're starting to plant the seeds of those right now. You know, it all, ta all takes about a year to grow and harvest. Take some time. Take some time. But it's usually worth it. Oh, are optic and contenders going to be combined to make one product? I don't know if Panini would do that. I don't think they're going to start grafting sort of stuff, but are they? Maybe they will. I have no idea. Well, it looks like they've grafted together optic and contenders. That'll be interesting. So they did. Oh, I'll have to look that up after this break. Yeah, I will. That sounds interesting. So a bit of grafting. They grafted an optic tree and a contenders tree together. That'll be interesting. Uh, next game. So we talked about Tennessee, uh, Kansas City. What about Atlanta at the Rams? The Falcons playing in Los Angeles. The LA Rams hosting their first LA Ram playoff game for like a long time. Well, uh, uh, TNT saying, hey, be sure to leave the, the points out of next year's crop. Uh, yeah, well, listen, not every apple is going to be perfect from an apple tree. You know? Boston Graph says ATL, the Falcons taking it. Kyle says the Rams. The Rams playing at home? They've got a pretty dynamic offense. Their defense is really good, too. That's actually their strength. That'll be interesting. I'm leading Rams. I'm leading Kansas City. I haven't made my official picks yet, but I'm leading Kansas City for that first game we talked about, and I'm leading Rams in that particular matchup. TJ saying the ATL. Patrick saying the Rams. I'm a Raiders guy, so I, I have no dog in any of these fights. All right. Next box. DeGroote saying Rams going all the way to the Super Bowl. Huh. I don't know about that. But we'll see. Cooper Cup, 24 out of 25. Well, this, this guy might help. Wow, Rick saying Rams by 17. Kyle saying screw the ATL and F Carolina. Carolina had one job, and Cam Newton was 14 for 34 passing with three interceptions. The autograph is a nice rated rookie auto, Juju Smith-Schuster. He might become a playoff legend. You never know. No Antonio Brown. He might get his chance. 74 out of 75. That'll go to the Steelers and Daniel Patera. Nice one, Daniel. Happy New Year. There's Eli Manning out of 149. Where does he end up? That'll be a big question in the offseason. Chargers looking pretty good. Just barely missing the playoffs. There's Charles Harris for the Dolphins at a 2.99. There's Carlos Henderson for the Broncos out of 149. Broncos are going to need a retool in the offseason. There's the Bills. There they are at a 149. They're in the playoffs, believe it or not. Backing into the playoffs. They got some help. O.J. Howard, the Juice, rated rookie, 92 out of 99 for the Buccaneers. It's another one for Lee. And there's Dangerous out of 149. Seahawks will have to retool as well. 
maybe an offensive line for this guy. <laughs> maybe some running back help for that guy. That would be nice. Maybe a healthy defense for that guy. DeGruy saying Eli to the Bills. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're they're they're. Well, we'll see how the playoffs go, but I'm not sure they're entirely sold on any of their quarterbacks. They didn't put Nathan Peterman in a very fair position either. Oh, nice. Uh, Boston Graf saying, what, Ty Law and, and Randy Moss finalists for the Hall of Fame. But will Randy Moss go in as a Patriot? I don't think they actually declare a team, though, do they? Not officially, anyway. Oh, maybe they kind of, maybe they do. The Hall of Fame, I guess, website does, does attach a team to them. Rory saying Eli's going to be a wild card. Lots of speculation about where he's going. Jaguars, that's a possibility. Unless Blake Bortles balls out in the playoffs. Denver, that's a great possibility. The Vikings, following his brother's footsteps. Imagine. Well, speaking of Jacksonville and Buffalo, the Bills are in Saxonville. I, I think Jacksonville takes this one, right? I feel like... Jacksonville may have wished they would have finished their season a little bit stronger. So there are that is a little concerning if you believe in that momentum sort of stuff. But who do you think, folks? Bills at Jacksonville. Bills at Jaguars. Who wins that one? We'll talk spreads a little bit later this week. But Rory saying the Bills. if I could give it to the Bills, but uh, but I'm not super confident about that. Patrick also saying Bills. DeGruch also saying Bills, but Boston Graf saying Jacksonville. Kyle says Buffalo because Bortles chokes it. Yeah, and EA reminding us, didn't LaShawn McCoy get hurt? I don't know if it was serious, though. I, I think they said it might not have been as serious as it seemed. Rick saying Bills might not even score a point. That Jacksonville defense could suddenly show up. Now, I know they had a weird couple couple games. Bills are going to get shut out in Saxonville, says Rick. There's Awuzie. Cowboys on a weird, uh, weird season for them, just like my Raiders. A lot of people are saying it was Raiders-Cowboys in the Super Bowl, but obviously that's not going to happen. TJ saying Bills are playing. Speaking of the Raiders, is Khalil Mack. Out of 299. TJ saying Bills are playing on a high note, but got to go with Jacksonville to win it all, TJ says. Jonathan Allen, Redskins. That'll go to Sam Golden. Looks like another autograph hot box, which might mean we don't have a case hit. But who knows? We might still see one. This is true. Rick Hunt does have some credibility. He did win our Jaspies Pro Football Pick'em League. And he played pretty much all season. We'll take a look at that a little bit after or after this break. There's Jordan Willis to 149. So he knows. He knows how to make picks. TJ Watt out of 149. Oh, these will oh these are this these are two different teams. So these illusions cards will be randomized between the Steelers and the Texans. All all the other regular ones will be randomized left and right. So these, these obviously are the same team, so they'll go to the same team. There's Kevin King out of 199 for the Green Bay Packers. Packers will be Daniel F. And there's our Darius Stewart, rated rookie, on-card autograph for Karen. And the Jets, Jets, Jets. 32 out of 99. Rory saying he did horrible this year in the pick'em. Devonta Freeman out of 149. Dirty Birds, that'll be for Sam.
Gridiron Kings, Jordy Nelson out of 149 for the Packers. There's James Conner for the Steelers out of 99. And Marlon Humphrey for the Purple Birds. Autograph for Sam Golden and the Ravens. All right. All right, just a just a handful of boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next box. And next matchup, uh, the final matchup this weekend. Carolina at New Orleans. Panthers at Saints. Now, Arthur was saying earlier, Saints win it all. So Arthur's thinking Saints. Which is actually not a bad pick because, think about it, Saints defense massively improved. They're a great defense. And the Saints have a different style of offense, too. They've got a great running game. They got a great defense. They're playing at home. Kyle Kramer wants Carolina in the pit of misery. Jaden says Nolens. TJ also going Saints. Patrick with the Panthers. Tice with the Saints. DeGruche also saying Saints. Rick saying Saints by six. The early line is six and a half, by the way. But we'll 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 look at the final lines a little bit later. We'll see how those lines move up and down. At the end of the week, they'll make some more official sounding picks. Rob Castillo also saying Saints. No love for Carolina, huh? I think they they, they had some pretty uh pretty good games coming down the stretch. Rob Castillo saying, hey, Panthers tend to mess it up when it counts. EA Sports is in the game saying Saints, says Eric. Kyle Kramer says Saints by 17. Camp throws three interceptions. Boston Graphs also saying Saints. Oh, yeah, we will do a Jaspi Square thing, a promo for We did one last year, right? We'll do a Square promo for the Super Bowl. Or the big game. I don't know if I'm allowed to say Super Bowl. For the big game next year. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Corey Davis, 101 out of 299. Tom Brady, 125 out of 149. Corey Davis going to Eric. That's EA Sports in the game. Tom Brady going to Karen in this one. And our autograph is rated rookie on card auto, Nathan Peterman. That's for Michael Gallucci and the Buffalo Bills. 61 out of 150. Jeremy McNichols. 3 out of 25 for the Buccaneers. For Lee Cheeseman and the Bucks. Eric also needs some Saints, by the way, too. Speaking of the Saints. All right, next one. Terrell Suggs out of 199. These are not parallels. I'm going to slide past those. Tan Man, what's going on? I'm not sure when Donner's Optic Basketball is coming out, Patrick, but I did like last year's set, obviously. Those Ben Simmons's went for like a zillion dollars. That's, I think they still do. There's Reuben Foster 
out of 199. Niners, that'll be for Lee. Everyone's wondering how Blake Blake, Blake Bores actually has a de had a decent season this year. Let's see how he see how he handles the playoffs. Playoffs. Kevin King out of 99 for the Packers. Daniel F. Nathan Peterman again for Michael Gallucci and the Bills. That's 93 out of 149. And Isaiah Ford back there. Four boxes to go, boys and girls. We're almost there. So happy New Year to everybody. I'm not sure. Are there orders coming in? We do. I see a lot of orders coming in, but I'm not sure what they're for. So we'll see what's filling up. We'll see what we do after these uh, final four boxes. All right, final four boxes. Good luck. Wow, nice, TJ. I do remember that hit. TJ got the Bears in last spot mojo in, I think, this, Optic Football. And I and I think we pulled him midway through the break, pulled him a Mitch Trubisky autograph. Pulled him a Mitch Trubisky autograph, and... Um, he said it went for 700 bucks on eBay. Wow. Well, that's good. Did the buyer pay for it? That's a, that's a nice sale, though. Not too shabby. I think Trubisky should be pretty solid. Patrick saying he's talking about a little more balance. Are you going to the Lakers game in Toronto? The Lakers are kind of stinking it up right now, but at least they're somewhat more exciting to watch these days as opposed to last year. Yeah, so what's next, ladies and gentlemen? We, we will have something to do after here. Jaspyshobbyland.com. Yeah, sure, Michael House. Happy New Year to you too, MH. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, there's another stack of boxes here. Let's, let's start thinking about what we want to do next. Double O two out of one forty nine, Travis Kelsey for the Chiefs. That would be for Ryan. Oh, you're watching Ball and uh, Kuzma. Yeah, they're they're doing pretty well. I think I think Lonzo Ball is healthy enough to play or practice. He should be healthy enough to play soon. Alvin Kamara. There you go. That's what EA Sports was looking for. Some Saints. Alvin Kamara rated rookie autograph. 17 out of 35. Lights, Camara, action. Adam Shaheen for the Broncos out of 299. Oppo Joe Mojo. I haven't seen any Vikings, or I don't remember any Vikings hits as of late. Maybe there were some parallels, perhaps? Mike Wallace for the Purple Birds out of two out of one ninety nine that is thirty two out of ninety nine D 
D.D. Westbrook for the Jaguars. Tredavious White out of 149. That will be for the Bills. That's a nice one for the Bills. Michael Gallucci. And the Honey Badger. 35 out of 199 for the Cardinals and James S. There's O.J. Howard, the Juice, 29 out of 50. That's the rated rookie card for Lee and the Buccaneers. Tice in need of some Seahawks. Nice Camaro rated rookie out of 35. Nice low number on that out of 35. Okay. Final three boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Yeah, I, I just heard that, Boston Graphs. I was told that Carson Palmer retired and it was confirmed and all that. So who do the Cardinals get? Coach, retired. Tearful press conference. Carson Palmer, retired. Does Larry Fitzgerald retire? Or do they get a vet quarterback in? Or do they kind of start from scratch again? Uh, Kaiser to the Cardinals, huh? Eric saying Eli. That's That could be a good vet quarterback. What, but what if the Broncos want Eli? Broncos need a quarterback, too. And what if Alex Smith just stinks it up in the playoffs? You know, maybe they'll go with Patrick Mahomes for next season. Say goodbye to Alex Smith. Ah, Rick saying that his, his Bengals have signed the impervious, the, the impossible to fire Marvin Lewis for two more years. Jaden saying Eli to the Jaguars. Oh, you never know. Blake Bortles might be playing for his job in this playoff game. Here we go. Third to final box. Good luck, everybody. We've seen a few hot boxes already, so I'm not sure if there's going to be a case hit, but we'll see. 207 out of 299. That's LaShawn McCoy for the Bills. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. EA saying that uh, Arizona's where QBs go to retire. That's where a lot of people go to retire. Why not quarterbacks? Melvin Gordon for the Los Angeles Chargers out of 99. Mike Evans, Gridiron Kings to 149. The Chargers card going to Rick. Manuel Sanders for the Broncos out of 149. There's Patrick Mahomes right there. There's the Honey Badger again for James. 83 out of 99. Deshaun Watson, he should be back. He should be back strong, better than ever. And we've got black DeAndre Hopkins. That is 7 out of 25. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> Could be on top of this. Hands like Amari Cooper right there. So out of 25. DeAndre Hopkins for the Texans, and that'll be for Calvin. Your auto is TJ Watt. Turn down for Watt. That goes to 
the Steelers, Daniel Patera with the TJ Watt autograph. 34 out of 75. Nice. Elijah Hood for the Raiders out of 199. That goes to Daniel. Speaking of the Raiders, Hub, I actually have no idea how much the Raiders cost in contenders. I'll check for you after this break. Unless someone knows off the top of their head. Maybe like 30, 30, 40 bucks might, might sound right. Not, not, not the cheapest team, but not the most expensive team. Maybe somewhere right in the middle. EA asking, Joe, do you think the Raiders hire John Gruden? I think this time, yes. I know there's always, always a lot of rumors, but it seems like this time it's for real. <laughs> it seems like it's for real. You know, uh, when the early rumors started to come out, when the early rumors started to come out, they were saying, hey, like, John Gruden's like fellow employees were reporting it. Adam Schefter was reporting it. You know what I mean? So... Clearly, I don't think they would serve the pot like that for with 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 their coworker. You know what I mean? So I think first off, that was like the biggest one of the bigger signs. And then John Gruden, I think, was recently quoted as all but saying, "I hope I'm in contention for the job." So I, I think that's that's what's going to happen. And I think they wouldn't have fired Jack Del Rio unless they could get someone like John Gruden, or that it's pretty much in the bag. So I think I think it is because uh, you know I I don't like the idea of switching out head coaches all the time, and especially for a team like the Raiders, which have dealt with so uh, with instability for so long, you know, and kind of going with and how many great head coaches are there that are willing to rebuild with the Raiders? Um, it's kind of tough to find, you know. So why try to go with a Dennis Allen? It's like the Dennis Allen experiment the Raiders had a couple years ago. Um, only to realize that that might not be the right head coach for the culture of the club, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. It really, if you're going to fire uh, someone like John or uh, someone like Jack Del Rio, is if you're going to get John Gruden. I think the Raiders, I'd be surprised if they didn't at this point. <coughs> but unlike, you know, Gruden is always connected to a lot of head coaching jobs. But I think this is the this is the first time where where all all the smoke is pointing to the fire that is going to return to the Raiders. Now the big question is: after being out of coaching for so long, I know he's been a very active uh, personality and broadcaster. There's Jordan Matthews for the Bills. That's Michael Gallucci. Uh, after all that. You know, is he ready? Is Has the game passed him by or not? 69 out of 99, Dalvin Cook. That goes to the Vikings. That's Chris with the Vikings. Yeah, you have the Vikings, and yes, you have the Browns as well. I've not seen, I don't know if we've seen autographs for either one. There's Deonta Foreman, rated rookie autograph for Calvin and the Texans. That is four out of 50. D.D. Westbrook, not numbered. LaShawn McCoy for the Bills. Out of 205 out of 299. There's the Honey Badger again for James. 20 out of 99. Adam Shaheen for the Bears. Out of 299. That's for Mark Glassman. Is not numbered. Tyreek Hill, KC, out of 149, Kansas City. That goes to Ryan, who finally got his Patrick Mahomes autograph out of this case. He's been chasing that for a little while. And the last bit before the last box, Raekwon McMillian. Uh, 125 out of 149, just McMillan, or that is, not J-Mac. That goes to Ed and the Dolphins. 
And there's Josh Reynolds, rated rookie card in the back. Last box coming up, last autograph coming up. And we'll do a couple uh, randomizers for the points, the illusions cards, and the transcendent spot from jazbeeshobbyland.com. That's getting closer and closer to being full. Joe Howard is saying, hey, it's that, that Raiders situation has got to be the best position for a new coach. you got the QB, the elite pass rusher, and if they come back healthy, a really good offensive line. There are a lot of coaching issues too. Defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator. So it's a clean start for John Gruden with, a, with already a, a very talented team. And with the sort of kind of off season that the Raiders have had, they're, they're probably going to get a better draft pick than they would have expected too. They'll probably go defense. All right, good luck, everybody. Last box coming up. This is pick your team number eight of 2017 Panini Donner's Optic Football, our first 12-box break of Optic of the year. So happy new year. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being part of this break. Really appreciate it. We've got more. Optic football. So if you want to get in on this, jazbeeshobbyland.com. You can pick your team and still chase transcendent baseball spots, which I hope we we're going to do a case of that transcendent baseball this week. So keep an eye on the transcendent baseball spots. And in fact, hey, start buying teams or start buying spots if you can. You're guaranteed a hit in either of the two transcendent baseball breaks that we have on the site. So give it a shot. Give it a go. You're guaranteed a hit or keep joining these breaks where you can win a transcendent baseball spot. Max asking, he's saying he left the stream for a bit. What was a case hit? We just have to go and watch the entire video again, Max. We're not going to let you off the hook that easy. You can't just leave and then come back and expect everyone else is grinding this out for an hour. All right. Last box. Good luck, everybody. Start off with Gronk. There's Joey Bosa for the Chargers out of 199. Drew Brees for the Saints, 32 out of 149. EA got his Camara. And the last autograph is Return of the Mac. Mac Hollins, on-card auto for Ryan, Royal for Speed, 143 out of 150. That's our last autograph, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if there's any other parallels we can find, like this one out of 299, Des Bryant. We got Jordan Reed for the Redskins. 42 out of 50. No, Chandler spoiling it. 48 out of 149. Captain Comeback, Roger Staubach. Now nah, there was no case hit, Max. There was just three hot boxes. <laughs> Rory was Rory is savage. He's like, no slack for him. No, I, I felt nice. It's a, it's a new year. It's a new year, Rory. You're going to have a, a, a kinder, gentler Joe. Shelton Gibson, EA saying it was the Kid Reporter card. Shelton Gibson, rated rookie for the Eagles out of 149. R. Joshua Dobbs, 65 out of 99. Although that being said, I guess if you're not even in the break, I should, I should, we should cut you even less slack. If you're in the break, it's like, hey, you paid good money. Yeah, sure. You don't want to watch an hour-long video. I get it. But if you're just spectating, Max, I'll just make you watch the video. Our Joshua Dobbs for the Steelers. we got all these other parallels. That's it, folks. That's the 12 box. Pick your team break of 2017 Panini Donner's Optic Football. A few randomizers coming up. Good luck, everyone, on that. 
All right, so first of all, I'm sure there's some left-right uh, randomizers here. So we'll set that up first. They do make a one of one kid reporter card, Max. It's the kid who wins the Super Bowl trip. Um, everyone gets a shot at the 150 points. And there'll be the randomizer between TJ Watt and JJ Watt. That's actually serial number, so we'll randomize that separately. And let's see who gets a shot at the transcendent spot. All right, so anyone who bought at least two teams will get a shot at it. So let's alphabetize by your first name. Chris D. Masoner bought two teams. Daniel bought at least three. Ed with two. Eric with two. So these are all one spot in the transcendent promo. Karen with three. All right, that's not a lot of people, actually. Out of 16 potential entries, it's one entry per person per break if you buy at least two teams. Out of a possible 16 entries, there's only 10 this time. That's a very low number. That's very good odds for this break. All right, so good luck to you, 10. Let's uh, roll the dice for all the lists. That's going to be five and a five. 10 times, 10 the hard way, left, right first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So left side. So all the all the cards on the left side for these illusions ones. A lot of them are the same team, but anything on the left side, you'll get those. Once again, five and a five, ten times for the points. One hundred and fifty points. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, Rick Hunt with a little consolation here. There you go, Rick. 150 points coming your way. Ten times for that Steelers uh, Texans car. That was a uh, 95 out of 199. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Texans with that one. So that'll go to Calvin with the Houston Texans. 95 out of 199. There you go. Nice illusions insert. And last but not least, congrats to somebody here. You're going to get a transcendent baseball spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com after 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10th and final time. There you go, Royal Four Speed, Ryan with a spot in Transcendent Baseball on jazbeeshobbyland.com. That is the $155 value, Transcendent Baseball. We're getting closer and closer to filling it up. Let's do it this week, folks. Don't worry about the RSVP. we got to cover with tops. You can RSVP late on us. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time on Jaspies. Bye-bye.